What a beautiful day, huh? Yeah. Gorgeous out. Well, it's been a seven-month journey, Larry. And I hope I win that battle today. And that's over. You will. You will. No, seriously. I hope that this is the last four minutes of a game. And it's the finale. And hit the jump shot at the buzzer. And win this baby. All right, <clears throat> time to wrap this baby up. Are you excited? This is your last treatment. I hope so. So you're going to be in your same room? Oh, OK, good. Oh. Here we are. Hey. Here we are. Welcome. Hi. Hi, oh, Marina. Welcome. How are you? Let's get the show on the road. You ready for your last chemo? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. One of these medications is to prevent nausea before chemotherapy, and the other one's a steroid to reduce any kind of reactions. Um, it's just standard protocol. Some people react differently. Um, Mr. Diff here has not had any reactions, luckily. So we kind of have his routine down to a T, right? How about the uh, hardest part for him, in your perspective, during this whole process? So anybody getting chemotherapy, it's not an easy experience. Um, and he is very positive about it. I think him not being able to talk for the most part because there was like two or three sessions that he couldn't even talk to us. So it's frustrating and he can't express those emotions. How are you feeling? You know, just uh, feel excited if it's the end. You know, you never know what's, <clears throat> what's going to transpire with the chemo. I don't I have no idea. They do blood counts and see if everything's fine. The doctor was just here. He anticipates no problem. Uh, but one never knows, like you said. <clears throat> Chemo's a funny thing, man. All right, bag number two of chemo. We're almost there. All right. This is number two. This number is number two. two. Three. We finished the first one. We finished yeah. the first one. Done. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm excited. You know, coming to the end of the tunnel and. Uh, Hopefully, you know, this will all be behind us soon, so it's a reason to smile. What's the, in a moment like today, what's the tension that you feel? Each time is a different experience, so you just hope, you know, this is the last one, let it go well. And so far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. I've been a tough patient, right? You've been a wonderful patient. <laughs> we enjoy you coming. Every 21 days, right? What's it been like working with Dick? It's been awesome. You know, he doesn't act any different. We love him. He acts, he treats us like family. He gives us advice like we're, we're his own children. We have good conversation, right? Right. We take a lot of laughs around the unit. <laughs> Eat cookies. So what's it been like for you working with Dick? Well, at first, I didn't even know who he is because uh, I wasn't born here. I was born in Ukraine, so I have no idea who he is. So really like him, really nice man. What did you like about him? American like to be more, uh, more fuzzy about stuff. Is he more straight the way he is? OK, if it's hurt, it's hurt. You know, more. I, I, I like that when they're straightforward. I find out what he, the what um, about his cancer. I feel really bad. I'm a Christian, so I told him I'm gonna pray about him. All is the best. <laughs> Thank you. Every time I draw his blood, I keep that blood in a couple minutes in my hand, and I, I pray. I was like I'm waiting for those cancer cells to go away. And, and he's doing well now, though. Yes, he is. I was really, really, I was really happy, really. I like when I hear a good story. I like when the prayer is answered, yeah. Talking about ringing the bell, what do you think it means to them? It's like everything else, it's a completion. I got through this, that I start going down the road to having a normal life. And because, I mean, cancer is hard and the treatment's hard and, you know, you rely on a lot of support and, and going through it during COVID when we, we had, and then having to do the whole thing with his voice. I mean, it's just been hard. And I mean, he's as held up as, as well as any human being could hold up. I applaud him for that. Uh, but now it's time for him to move on with his life and, you know, be, you know, Dick Vitale. <laughs> that away, sir. Come on, Lorraine, let's go. You're slow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to go new. 
Ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> Time to ring that bell. Ring the bell. Ring, ring the it. bell, baby. <laughs> yeah. Ring the bell, baby. All right. All right. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Dr. Brown's been phenomenal. The medical staff, the nurses. Where's uh, Dana, and Priscilla, and all the nurses? Sophia, she's not here. Uh, Marina, the nursing staff at this hospital is A+. Plus. If I were on ESPN now, I would simply say they are awesome, baby, with a capital A. But it's all through the direction of Dr. Brown that I'm here today ringing that bell. And what is today mark for you? Um, well, hopefully it marks the conclusion of this journey. Um, I know he'll forever fight for the cause, but hopefully his journey with it um, concludes today. Um, super proud of him, of how he's handled it, um, how he tackled it from day one. We went through some tough times together. I, I was so scared. I've never been so scared. And you go through the range of emotions really quick. Um, from finding out to shock to the fear to okay we have to attack it let's put our team together and we did that and hopefully today is the conclusion of that